So the number fourth is going to be Tefler School of Management in Ottawa, which is in Ontario, which is also capital city of Canada. And the Tefler School of Management offers this master's in health administration program. There is also an executive health administration program. Ignore that one. Not meant for international grads. Uh, just go for the master's in health administration program for now. And we'll follow along the sequence of MHA programs that we have created. And here is the website for that particular school and uh, the health administration program. Uh, we can download the package. I'm not interested. We can schedule a meeting with an advisor if you are interested for. Uh, I will just quickly come here where it says that we offer a 24 months program with evening and weekend courses to suit the working professional. The program is built in three components, which has the learn management fundamentals, learn healthcare fundamentals, and then exper uh, experiential experiential learning using uh, residency or a field project. So what are the cool highlights of this program? Tefler MHA is the only MHA in the Canada uh, housing school of management, the Tefler and the only management school of Ontario with triple crown international accreditations of whatever they have. And then one of Canada's most established MHA program, the content is enhanced with input from executives in residence. And our thesis uh, based master's in health system program is also going to be um, a part of like you know uh, research in there so let's learn about the program so i'm right here clicking on the left side right here program and it says all teflor mha students quickly find meaningful rewarding jobs after graduation that's their highlight every time the reason behind their immediate career success is straightforward the teflor mha provides our graduate with solid grounding key areas of business management prepares them to tackle challenges inherent in modern healthcare system and give them all the skills that they need. There's also residency and there's also field project. So they have all cool things that we learn for other programs as well. And so when I'm in the program, I'll just click down here, the program delivery. So I should know that uh, the MHA program is ideal choice for experienced working professionals who wish to enhance their skills quickly and thoroughly. So this is a very good highlight in one line that you should be a experienced health professional or you should be already in some kind of uh, capacity where you would get, just increase the level of your healthcare administration knowledge, not get it from the basic. And as a professional student, you will complete the program coursework and the in-person residency or project-based residency in only 24 months. So like all other programs, this is also 24 months or within two years, it's gonna be completed. Delivery is very flexible. The working professionals will attend classes two evenings a week and three weekends per term. So that's pretty interesting how their delivery of the format is. There is some information right here for the residency or the field project and I'll straight jump to the admission part which is something everybody struggles with most of the time. So they have the similar kind of requirement the minimum average of 70% or B. So again I will ask you not to trust what they are saying but send your docu documents in, send your transcripts with evaluation and let them make a decision based on that. A minimum of three years full time work uh, experience is required. In general the preference is given to those who have great work experience particularly when there is evidence of career progression so this is very important for new grads fresh grads that if you are thinking that hey i just want to move to canada so i'm just going to do another program there these kind of programs are not meant for fresh grads they they want you to bring a lot of experience on the table because they have a cohort system they are learning in a classroom among uh, between each other like there's uh, their exchange of uh, their own experiential learning so they want somebody to have some experience when they show up in this program not somebody who's a fresh grad 24 year old without any experience in any kind of uh, discipline other than their own core so just remember this thing it's a good highlight how the program is giving you a green flag that uh, please apply only when you have this kind of uh, requirement met uh, if you have over seven years of experience, discover the online executive MHA program. Even when you have over seven year experience, uh, this MHA program is expensive, very, very high quality, very focused on high level administration and like philosophies in healthcare administration and like the big picture and how can you transform the whole system and there would be like in your class you would have like you know the people who are director of this wing and uh, they are CFO of the health information network and stuff like that so it's a very fancy outcome so I, I never 
like I see it, but I, I hope, I wish someday I would apply for this kind of program, but not for international grads there. And uh, you have uh, achieve a minimum of 75% in the required Harvard modules as indicated below. For international applicants, Harvard online math module is right here. So that's another way of assessing your quantitative skills just like GRE, GMAT, uh, assess your mathematics skill. This Harvard module right here is another way you can get your mathematical skills assessed. So you will just create your account here and then you will go ahead and uh, complete the mathematical skills. You will know where you stand once you start working on it. But if you have prepared for GRE or GMAT like I did, then you will find it similar to what they were asking for. Similarly, there is a communication module just like uh, the IELTS and TOEFL. This Harvard communication model is also a very important tool how you can actually, and these are paid, so these are uh, not free. So uh, when you apply for it, that's when you will make a final decision of uh, completing these two modules. So right here is another tab which talks about the application process and deadline. So make sure you go through it. The application deadline for international students is again February 1st, just like other programs. So make sure you apply before that. And what are the mandatory admission tests? So Harvard modules are compulsory, Harvard math or Harvard math as well as communication module. But if you choose not to do these two modules, then you will have to provide a GMAT or GRE score. So right here on the top, they say the MHA program requires submission of successful completion of certificates in the Harvard modules or so it says or a complete co a competitive score in GMAT or GRE exam. So either if you have already done GRE, GMAT, then you don't have to worry about uh, the Harvard modules, but if you have not done so, then I would go ahead and do the Harvard modules instead of GR. GR is like $350, GMAT is like more than that, then why to waste so much money if you can get it done within 100 USD, okay? And lastly, we will go into the tuition fee tab right here and see what how much is the tuition fee. And we can find out the detail about the fee right here in this tab, but for those who are uh, international students for the complete program. This is the least expensive program uh, between all that we discussed so far, which is around $55,500 for international students. Here is the video on top six MHA programs in Canada. Check out the entire video if you are willing to do MHA in Canada as an international student. Also check out other videos on this channel because I have been uh, giving a lot of valuable content uh, recently and I'm missing some subscribers. So if you share this video with a friend, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, I would really, really appreciate. Post it in the comment below if you have any other question or would you like me to create a new video on certain programs. Until then, bye-bye.